how are you doing today? We're going to be talking about the pH chart and how foods are balanced in your body by pH um, levels. And the reason why I want to do this video is because a lot of people say, well, I don't eat pork. Okay, but if you're still drinking soda pops, it's the same pH level. So I want to break that little um, theory right there and just show you um, what alkaline foods are and what acidic foods are and how they change in the body. Let's get into the chart real quick. Um, PA, PA, or the pH chart, alkaline foods, um, they get more acidic as you cook them. So when you eat them raw, they're best eating raw. So 10 on the, on the pH chart is, and you can consume these more freely and more often, uh, alkaline water, which Fiji has a good alkaline water, um, raw spinach, Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, alfalfa grass, seaweed, raw broccoli, red cabbage, cucumbers, asparagus, artichokes, collard greens, lemons and limes, potato skins, and raw salad, uh, raw celery. And we think that lemons and limes are acidic, but once they get into the body, they turn al al alkaline. So I do a lot of lemonade. I drink a lot of lemonade to flush out what I'm putting in that's acidic. So to continue, nine on the chart on the alkaline side is olive oil, raw zucchini, sprouts, grains, raw green beans, mangoes, um, tangerines, grapes, raw peas, most lettuces, um, sweet potatoes, blueberries, um, papayas, melons, kiwis, Raw eggplant, figs, dates, pears, pears, alfalfa sprouts. And what I found when I read the book on um, herbs that cure different diseases in the body, alfalfa sprout was on like almost everything. So if I was to take an herb that would that would is basically to cure the entire body, it would be alfalfa sprouts. Um, eight on the alkaline chart are apples. And the, uh, this is the pH level, 8. <clears throat> Apple, uh, apples, tomatoes, turnips, bell peppers, um, pineapples, wild rice, cantaloupe, oranges, almonds, fresh corn, olives, radishes, soybeans, cherries, strawberries, honeydew, grapefruit, millet, avocados, mushrooms, um, bananas, and peaches. And there, of course, there are more things that have these alkalines. I can't go through everything, but this is just a quick, quick um, version of what's in this alkaline um, pH. So let's go to seven on the alkaline, on the pH chart. Seven is neutral. It is um, optimum for the human blood, which is 7.365. So uh, um, tap water can be adjusted with plus or minus. Um, we never know what's really in your tap water, but we do know that fluoride is in tap water, which lowers the IQ. So, um, but um, also in a seven neutral pH balance is um, fresh butter, which is unsalted, cream, raw mi uh, cow's milk, margarine, oils, except olive oil, and lemon water. Because of course that lemon is good to just, um, um, keep everything alkaline. So under the pH 7 O pH level comes your acidity foods on the chart. And it takes 20 parts of alkaline, alkaline, alkalinity to neutralize one part of acidity in the body. So if you put something in acidity, it takes that much more double, that much more to burn that out. With, with your alkaline foods. So, um, number six on the pH balance under your acid is uh, milk, yogurt, most grains, eggs, kidney beans, processed juice, brown rice, oysters, fruit juices, uh, fish, lima beans, rye, rye bread, cocoa, um, oats, cold water fish, cooked spinach, coconut, plums, salmon and tuna, and tea, and liver. So five on the acidity pH level is cooked beans, sugar, potatoes without the skins, um, salted butter, wheat bran, uh, rice cakes, molasses, beer, navy beans, black beans, white rice, cooked corn, canned fruit, pinto, pinto beans, pistachios, re 
Rebirth um, Pinto Beans, okay? And number four on the acidity chart is in the lower your you're in the lower the acidity acid the worse it is. So we're going to number four. Rebirth osmosis water, distilled and purified water, most bottled waters and sport drinks, coffee, pistachios, cranberries, wheat, popcorn, uh, beer, prunes, uh, most nuts, and I love me some um, peanut peanuts. Um, and I love, um, what's my favorite? Um, pecans, uh, white bread, tomato sauce, blackberries, and fruit drinks. So three on the acidity chart would be lamb, shellfish, uh, pasta, uh, goat cheese, worrying, uh, tobacco sauce, sweet and sour, sweet and low, uh, Nutri-Sweet, microwave foods, uh, pork, pastries, soda, pickles, vinegar, lack of sweet, chocolate, e equal, um, processed foods, stress, wine, cheese, black tea, aspartame, and overworking. And number uh, under three is um, cola is 2.3. Cola is off the chart. So if you say, oh, well, I'm not uh, eating pork, but you're drinking a lot of colas, then it's the same thing. You're, you're still putting an acid into your stomach. The same, uh, same thing if you're drinking beer, which is 5.0 on the chart. Um, it's still putting acid in your stomach. Now, what I want to have, what I want, how I want to explain, and how I understand it, it is that your stomach doesn't care what you put in it. It could be whatever uh, um, worms, uh, dogs, cats, people are eating whatever they're eating. Your stomach does not care. It's just going to go in there and burn it up and make make it into fuel. But when you burn something, what does it leave behind? It leaves uh, ash behind. Ashes. So that's what we have to get out of the body to keep it alkaline and to clean that ash out. And balance is the key. You can't just stop eating all acidity foods. But once you eat them and you burn them and they leave that ash behind, how do we clean them out? We have to go back and eat alkaline foods, which flushes those things out. Um, so, turkey. Oh, I just, I'm not eating pork. I'm just eating turkey. Well, turkeys come from the vulture family. Okay, they eat dead corpse. Also, fish consume um, dead corpse. Uh, your cows, though, might be something different. And I'm not telling you how to eat. I'm just telling you how I how I'm presuming to see this chart. Uh, the stomach, a cow has two stomachs, and they also eat grass. They don't eat other animals or other corpse. So that might be something that you want to um, look into if you don't want to eat the pork. Then eat the beef. I do know that when I'm not eating pork or eating meat, I lose a lot of weight. So there, I can, I have to eat some, I have to eat meat in order to maintain my weight. But um, I'm not picky on what I eat. I'm picky on how I get it out back out of my system, how I clean my system. And one thing, like I said, I do do is I drink a lot of fresh lemonade. I take the lemons and I squeeze them freshly and I drink that. Um, so I just want to say we need to stop putting on people down about what they're eating. Oh, you're eating pork, you're eating this? Yeah, but you're eating microwave foods. You're drinking beer, drinking wine, drinking tea, uh, black tea. Um, you're doing the same things that are putting the same acid into your uh, acidity, into your, or this ash into your, into your body that the pork is doing. So it doesn't make sense to not to, to put anyone else down by their choices. But when you're also doing almost the same thing, colas 2.3 off the chart. If you're drinking colas, that's leaving so much ash behind. If you're not also trying to eat fruits behind that, just leave the colas alone. But um, also, we got to do more alkaline foods. And I know in the wintertime, it's hard to get fresh alkaline foods because they're mostly vegetables and um, fresh fruits. So in the winter, I do consume a lot more acidity foods because that's what's more available, readily available. Um, but in the summertime, I am basically back on. I eat a lot of alkaline foods, and because they're they're tastier and they're better, and they're mostly fruits and vegetables. I love those. But I have never, I cannot cut out my meat because, like I said, I just drop the weight down and I just lose a lot of weight. So instead, I want to incorporate. 
uh, alkaline foods and, and real water and things to flush those things back out. And I think that is the key. Okay, so I think I'll end here. Um, I will, I guess, type this chart out, a couple of little things on this and leave um, the chart behind after the video. So check that out. Love and peace.